Hello, hello, hello. Uh, my name is Danny Bockel. I'm the artistic director and CEO here at Sask Express. Who are you? I'm Craig Sockel, music director. I play some piano, you know. You do? Yeah, a little bit. Very well, yeah. I might add. Mm, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and we're here on the new Sask Express podcast for We Will Rock You, which is our upcoming production for this winter. And our podcast is entitled Freddy's Who Lunch. You know, I like Freddie Mercury. You know, do okay. you get the time? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, awesome. we have been asked to come on in the inaugural podcast. And uh, yeah, you feel special. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, I like oh, yeah, that. I like for sure. That. And um, the question that we are, have been asked mm -hmm. is why we will rock you. Isn't it obvious? Like, it's a Christmas classic, right? It is a Christmas classic. Yeah. It's a Christmas classic. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Freddy and Santa Claus become best friends. Yeah. It's a, you know, it's a fun time. No, um, <laughs> Freddy's not in it, and neither is Santa. <laughs> Spoiler. So, um, but Freddy's music is littered throughout yes. and it is amazing um yeah why we were rocky well i can certainly say from my standpoint uh it's uh, it holds a special place in my heart for sure uh of course having done the show myself i did the first um national canadian company of the show all right, well, you're back again for We Will Rock You, but you're not in the same role this time around. Uh, no, it, well, it's a similar role, but it is uh, it is different. He's called he's something different now. He's six. He used to be Burton Cummings, and um, he's a bohemian. But I also understudy three different characters as well, as, as Britney Spears and Kashagi and Buddy Holly and the Crickets, who used to be called Pop. So there's, lots, there's a few differences about this show, yeah. And then took a hiatus, did a bunch of other shows in between, and then had the opportunity to do the North American um, first national U.S. tour as well with actually our choreographer Jen Moat, who is crushing it as well. She really is. Yeah, and so we got to do the show together, and so I also wanted to bring her in, somebody that knew the show. But yeah, it was one of those things where I, I was kind of holding off. It was a show that I thought we could do here because we have amazing singers that are going through and of course the band for it's gonna rock. So I thought, but I, I wanted it to be the right time. And it is, you know, it was a, definitely it took a bit of a risk uh, for Sass so. Express. It's, it's kind of a bit of a departure from what typically we would do for shows, but especially around um, the, the winter time. But I kind of was thinking, you know, it's one of those things where uh, a lot of companies do the classics and we have two and they're great they're classics for a reason you know the white christmases yeah. and the um you know the miracle on 34th street mm -hmm. and all the all the the winter classics and so i was going through them and and they're exciting but we've we've seen them we've all seen them we've seen them a lot and they come around and it's not you know it's it, it's great to see them at around the holiday time but it's also kind of a nice to get a little bit of you know a little breath of fresh air as they sure. would say so that's kind of why I chose it. I, I thought this might be the right time. I think our audiences are ready to rock out. I think it's one of those things that I was kind of thinking around the, the, the holiday season. Sometimes it can get busy and stressful. And I thought, you know, what would be better than just a rocking night out? So I, I wanted to turn it on its head. And also we have the people for it. The show is like super hard vocally it and really musically. Is, yeah. And even just, it's just a hard one to pull off right. And, but kind of knowing who was around and then who we found, yeah. I was like, I think we can do it. Like again, people coming out of the woodwork and I, and people who I've worked with as a performer as well, like somebody like Kaylin Stadnick, yeah. for example, who I worked with, we had done Globe shows together here in Regina and we uh, worked together out in Vancouver and um, you know, she happened to have this this break and wanted to come back and do the show and, and she had done Express in the past. And so getting somebody and she had just done the Come From Away national tour as well. So if people saw Come From Away here in Regina, you would have seen Kaylin perform and she's outstanding. And so getting somebody like her in the cast and, and like another new um, addition, Matt Rapley, who's playing Brit. <laughs> yeah. He's again, came kind of, uh, I knew Matt from a different world. Uh, he had done Canadian Idol, which I had done in the past as well, and he came to see our show. I'm singing, I heard it through the grapevine. Here is Matt Rapley. 
came to the show with the Canadian Idol cast because Brian and Roger from Queen were judges on Canadian Idol that time. So oh, he right. actually performed on stage with us, not as a We Will Rock You member. The Canadian oh. Idol finalists came on and did a number with us. I mean, but it's just, kind of, it's just kind of a weird history. And then I just happened to be talking with him, and he mentioned interest in I, and I was said this would be great, and he's killer. And then we have some um, of our Sask Express regulars who I know their voices so well, but they are killer, and they can they just are. sing. And they can act, and, and they can move, and they can dance, and, and, and everything's, it's just the right show, I think, at the right time. So that's why, and how about musically? Uh, I chose you? it because you did. Um, <laughs> well, musically, the show is unbelievable. Like, Queen stuff, and as the years have gone by, I appreciate them more than I ever did before. I always liked them. But man, it is crazy good music. It and is. it is, like, they're all over the map, stylistically. Oh. And it's, but it's high quality, man. It's, it's genius, actually. Bohemian Rhapsody. Bohemian Rhapsody to me, is one of the greatest pop songs, if you want to call it a pop song, that's ever been. Like, I think it's genius. It's weird that it was a popular song. <laughs> it was on the song. radio. It was a number one well, hit twice. Nasty. I know. It's like, it's, it's, it's insane. Ridiculous. It's like, for that so much good. stuff happening within the two. It's way too good. Like, well, yeah, it's, it's, there's too many changes. There's too, and yeah. then Freddie. And the coolest oh thing gosh. about Freddie is, like, watching him was, like, he didn't even have to be having the best vocal day. Like, there's, uh, remember when I first did the show, I went and watched, like, videos of Freddie yeah, perform? Yeah, of live, yeah. Yeah, and it was, a uh, like, there was days where, he, like, his voice, he wasn't going for any yeah, of the high yeah, stuff that yeah. he can wail, of course. But it didn't matter, because no. he sold, he just sold the crap out yeah. of it. And it was, it was insane just to watch him in the, he was just one of those people that no matter what he did, it was cool, and he sold it, and it was amazing. And, and that's, we're trying to get some of that spirit of that. But I agree, the music is it's, insane. It's incredible. It's, it, and when you, like, looking through the band charts and stuff like that, it's like you realize what's going on in the parts. Too. I know. Like Brian May. I know. Genius guitar know. parts. Like, they're just beautiful, little melodic lines that, that you kind of forget they're in there sometimes until you hear them. And... It's just, they're, they're beautiful parts. Every, every aspect of it. Like, it's cool. Like, it's not, the, like, Roger Taylor is, his, the, the drums are exactly what they, it's not what like, supposed to he's be. not a flashy player. Yeah, no, it doesn't need to be. But it just was, man, it laid it down. And then, like, some of the most iconic bass lines yeah. out there. Like, literally, well, the kids to today, like, yeah. I mean, if you don't hear that, ding, 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 yeah, I know ding, exactly, right? Right? Under pressure. Or, yeah. you know, ding, ding, ding. I know, exactly. <laughs> Then, well, then, they have then, like then, Queen like, has. It's insane. Lots of bands have classics, but Queen has classics that like We Will Rock You and uh, We Are the Champions, Another One Bites the Dust, and Bohemian Rhapsody. Everyone knows those. Every, songs. And like I'm like talking world. ten yeah. year olds. I know. And, and everyone knows yeah. them. <laughs> like I have a seven year old who but the, is Jaden, and he, yeah, he's, of he knows them. He knows yeah. them all. Like he knows the I tunes. Know. He's heard them all. Like and not just from me. He knew. He's heard them out and about. And again, you still like you go to any. Football game, oh, hockey game, they're, played, they're still played everywhere. Yeah. I and mean, that's incredible it that is. They, they're that big. Like, yeah. everybody knows. Like, you just, it just starts that. I know. Crack. I know. Like, it's instant. That's, it's just weird that this yeah. right can, be, can be, like, that little beat can, yeah. can be attributed to a band. I know. It's just, it's insane. It really is insane. It, and so, no, their music is insane. What would you say is your, do you have a favorite tune in the show? Uh, I don't know. There's so, there's so many good ones. I don't. I don't really have a favorite. There's not one. Is there one that you like playing? Mm, well, I don't like playing that myself. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I, not really. Not, nothing really stands out that I like more than others. But um, no. but I mean, there's there's some that I like more than others. There's some that are lesser. But even the lesser ones are still cool. Like, there's yeah. still cool things happening in them. Yeah. I think it's just so it's brilliant. Just, it's crazy. Do you that have the favorites? I think I do have some favorites. Um, but like I I I just think it's insane that the band that. Did crazy little thing called Love, which kind of like almost like a it's like Elvis. Elvis-y yes. tune. Did like <laughs> first time I heard that tune, I thought I heard I was like that was Queen. Did like how's that Queen? And they did Seven Seas of Rye. I know. And then Radio Gaga. Right. Which again, those tunes are like couldn't be more different. I know. But and they're then, all super cool. rap, which is just a, this is a well, weird anomaly of yeah. everything happening all it's at so once. Good. It's just a bizarre mix of sounds and killer queen like all that iconic vocal stuff yeah that, you know like i know like all that's like sl- it's a nice standard pop song yeah <laughs> it's it's just insane and they were it's just crazy that they were huge it was so huge i know i mean i love that they were and, but you know i would um, say favorites for me i don't know i kind of like um oh there's lots i i, I seven seas of Rye, i think is a fun one to do it's just yeah. a fun one to to hear, I love that that piano. Like, oh, that's awesome. it's like Billy Joel that, kind of thing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I think that's a that's a great tune. I mean, 
Killer Queen's a great tune as well. I yeah. think it's super, it's just super unique. It really is. And, and again, you just can't, the funny thing is that like, I don't think I give the iconic ones their due because yeah, I've too. heard them so yeah, much. I know. But like, if, if I was hearing Champions for the oh, first yeah, time. first time, exactly. Like, it's we super have the Champions, awesome. it's just a, again, it's. I think we're gonna wrap it up right now. That's what I feel like. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but I'm sure I've enjoyed talking about this legendary yeah. band. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. The great musical. Yes, the great musical. We will rock you. I, but I think I think people want to hear more. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> they want to. Yeah, I think people want to hear a lot more from us. So, um, Craig, as a kid, did you hear? <laughs> no. Um, yes. Okay. Well, that was Freddie's Who Lunch. I think sure is, the, was. is the title really of was. this podcast. And you know, I felt like we were having a nice dinner. Lunch, in my own way I was, if you will. I think, anyway. Do you call dinner lunch or lunch dinner? No, not really. What is it? Is, what's lunch, your th- lunch is breakfast? Lunch and lunch. Yeah, yeah get, get. I guess. Some people call lunch dinner. Yeah, I don't know. So true. And then there's supper. It's all wow. know, it's a crazy time. But it, this is Freddy's Who Lunch, brought to you by Sask Express. Hope you enjoyed the magic. Hope you enjoyed it. We sure did. Yeah.